going to take this project finally it's been such a long time i feel but i'm ready i have smoothed the table over as good as i can there's still bumps here and there scratches but that's just how it is i'm pretty sure it's going to be awesome no matter what i do have to be a little creative when it comes to making this fit because as you guys can see it doesn't fit so i think it's a good thing that i have to yeah i'll try to see how i do this before that i go crazy i am going to take a look at a tutorial that i saw before that i actually bought this she did make it look very easy and i am also going to use a hot gun i don't know what it, what you call that like a hair dryer <laughs> just for stuff like that to smooth over the edges i do also have to think about making space for the gap so that it looks pretty so i'm going to remember to do that as well but it doesn't make it easier to wait i'm just going to get it done don't overthink just do it i need heavy books to hold this thing down once we start but before that i begin i am going to eat something because once i start this project i don't want to do any breaks because otherwise i don't think i'm going to finish it and just explain a little bit about what i'm actually doing because that this video is probably just going to cut straight into it and i'm going to show you some clips of how i prepared the table as good as i could but let me just show you what i'm going to eat today falafel and hummus wraps never tried this before and my vegetable chips I'm going to eat a little bit of that anyway so i have had this table for years Oh my god, I can't get it on. You know what? Good thing <laughs> that this is a part of what I bought. I bought this on Amazon. I think this is actually a German brand. So you do have to buy two. You can't just buy one. Which is actually a good thing because one would not have been enough for this project. So this is what you buy separately. This is what you smooth it down with. And obviously this is what you cut with. But I have had this table for so many years and I actually started out using it inside when I did my tarot readings because I only had like boxes where I put like a big board on. I didn't really have a table in the studio where I could do tarot readings. <laughs> this was a big upgrade for me and you know, the more that I created the studio as a studio, not only for the photography, but also for YouTube, I switched this out and I started using it for DIY projects, especially when I did the Halloween series. So there is a lot of spray paint on it. There is a lot of black paint on it. I mean, yeah, my idea was actually to just completely paint it black, but that is not what's going to happen anymore because I'm going to use it for the cooking videos and that is why I chose this fake marble lookalike. Okay, let's taste test this together. I mean, this is so well fitting for this table being prepped for cooking videos because I'm eating food. Mm. It's actually very good. This is the heaviest book I could find. Ooh, it is a tiny bit spicy. This is, oh my god, my all-time favorite chips. Healthy chips in a not so healthy way because it is fried. I actually wanted to wait with doing this until that it was not windy, but it has been windy for so many days. Plus, I don't want to do it when it's like heavy sun because today it's overcast, so it's actually perfect. Mm -hmm. But I am excited to do this. And obviously, you know, for people who want to fix up a kitchen for cheap, this is perfect. I fell into a trap where I watched a lot of uh, DIY 
um, before or after kitchen renovation with this. My god, that was exciting. How crazy is it that they are so vibrant? This is a new brand that I'm trying. I think it's a Danish brand. The other one that I normally choose is, I think it's UK and the chips are definitely not as vibrant. This is definitely a spicy um, hummus. There's one thing we have to try on this channel. Try to make our homemade hummus. This table has been going through so many rebirths. Now, it's time for a whole new chapter. I'm gonna keep the rest. And I think I'm just going to begin. So it is a bit bumpy on some places. So I'm going to see if I can fix that. Oh yeah, I can. It's not because it's super bumpy, but I don't know how much it would come true. This is just the most satisfying thing ever. I want to see what happens if I try to sandpaper it. It doesn't get any more clean than what it is. Okay, what is my plan of action here? My plan of action is to... Well, I think it would make most sense to do it this way. And then see if I can make the pattern work. And it has to overlap, obviously. Mm -hmm. How dare you, wind? I think it's actually fairly easy to make marble work well together. Yeah. But I also have to be smart about it, right? <laughs> the book agrees. Okay, how much... How long is this? Alright, so it's actually pretty long. Maybe I should just try to cut it. I mean, again, it's like wax. Just do it, you know, one rip. So as you can see, on the other side, it does have like this, but in my case, I don't know how much that is actually going to help me because I'm, you know, I'm just trying to make it fit in a way. I mean, maybe it's helpful for some people and maybe someone out there is like, it's actually going to help you, but I'm going to ignore that call because first of all, I can't hear you. <laughs> now I turned it around, but yeah, I think we are just going to go for it. I'm trying to really be clever about it. So we actually, ow. oh, okay. It is sharp. Next book. I think I need three books for this, maybe. 
Or maybe I should just wait with the second or third one and be careful not to bleed all over the place. Okay, I do think that the only way forward is actually just to do it, at least for this one. There is enough here. Yeah, perfect. So I should have leftovers that I can maybe use for something else. Once again, there's just only one way forward, and that is doing things. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to cut in you. You can lay down again. <laughs> oh my god. We're going to work with this one first. I think I have made a decision. I mean, again, I can overthink this for hours and not get anywhere, or I can just do it. I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> we are doing it, right? <laughs> we are definitely doing it. I think what I saw they did is to remove the first piece and put it on. I know there's something about it, you can actually pull it off again if there's something going wrong, like before do you do the final scraping. No, it will not be done by me not doing anything. Maybe this is good that I do this with a table and not a whole kitchen. Some of you guys are probably going to be like, why don't you do it inside instead of outside? Well, because I do like to do stuff like this uh, outside and it's, there's more space here. Okay, so. We do this. It's actually fairly easy. I just want to make sure. <laughs> Look at us, people. Look at us go. But I will say, from the table being a little bumpy, you actually don't really feel that. And it's very easy to squeeze the air out, the air bubbles. Oh, I can feel that I can get very perfectionistic with this. So basically, we should could take this and then do this. by piece. Again, don't get too confident, too cocky. <laughs> oh! So you can just might have done my first oopsie. Question is if I can if I can fix that with the heat. I might actually be uh, able to do that. We'll see. Nice. One piece of cheap marble. <laughs> it's 
It feels good. It really feels good. So the trick here is actually that I do need to make like a piece that's a little bit longer. So it is going to be sectioned up in different sections, but oh, it's yeah, different pieces, but that's how it is. So let's see. Actually, this piece kind of looks like this piece, but <laughs> how much you guys can see. Question is if I should just use the heating gun now like just to try to see. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put it at one. I have never used stuff like this before, so I'm actually not sure. Let's try. Oh, it works. It doesn't need a lot of that is for sure. <laughs> Don't burn off the grass. I think I'm a little bit too careful maybe with it. I need to just... I don't know why I try to be so perfectionistic when it comes to this because you don't see this anyway. Oh.
one side is done. The corners are not the prettiest, but I'm going to see if I can do something about it before or after. But when I put too much heat on it, it does feel like the, the stickiness disappears. So I think I'm just going to do the other half. And then we will see. On the road, headed back to New Orleans. Driving in the country, past old tiny scenes. Big birds were singing in the tall willow tree. Mighty fine. Three words written on the paper bag I miss you was written in a message in black Thrown in a van to a thousand miles back A better time Last piece of going on And it's perfect and I have a big piece left how many souls and times that I've told the places it had won't be and how many days when I could have stayed instead of just getting up to leave and given we make time Meet you down the line I am done. <laughs> Finally done. This took me around three hours, three and a half hours. <laughs> oh my god. But it's worth it. I did mess up a little bit on some of the edges and one of the cuts are here and one of the other ones are right here. So, you really do have to look very close to see it. And for the purpose of what I'm going to use it for, it's, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. And I'm so happy that I actually did it, no matter what. But like I said, it's, not, it's really not perfect. <laughs> it isn't. But I will say that I'm actually happy that I tried this on this project. Because it doesn't have to be perfect. So if I do it like in a kitchen one day or something else that is like visible for people then I know how to do it better or what to be careful with but I'm really happy for the result I am it looks stunning and I can use it for pictures I can use it for tarot I can use it inside I can use it outside and just to show the edges, the edges does look very messy, you can't see anything. But I think this is better than the other side. There, yeah, calm down. And I'm happy that the uh, two ones also think that I did what I did here. This is the other corner. It does look way better than this. But again, no one is going to see that. This is what I fixed up. But all in all, I love it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. With that, I shall talk with you guys in my next video. Bye.